Welcome back to Favorite. back here on another video. I'm back with another Big Brother All-Stars review video. If y'all not checked out my last Big Brother video, I suggest y'all do that. Basically what I'm doing is, it's like a throwback. I'm watching Big Brother Season 7 for the first time. I've never seen Big Brother All-Stars, so, and I'm really into it. I've been watching some old Big Brothers, and this one I just want to review it, so let's get right to the video. Now in my last video, I did say that I saw the HOH because it played out on that episode and we saw that Kaser won. But I'm going to start from the beginning of the first episode here to the last bit that we saw. So the first thing that we saw, Danielle survived the block and she was talking to Janelle and she's basically asking who was the two votes that voted to evict her because she just wanted to know. Janelle confirmed to her that Diane was one of them. She knew that Diane was one but she didn't know about the other. Then we see Diane and Nakomis who were the actual two votes who voted to evict Danielle talk about how they were kind of upset they were out of the loop and everything. Nakomis was really upset saying like she doesn't like being left out and stuff like that. We see a flashback to the HOH which Kaser won. We saw how we go crazy talking about oh what up okay, sir all this stuff and Janelle kind of did the same thing and in her confessional or her diary room she pretty much said that she didn't really mind doing it because she felt like everybody knows that me and Casey is close so if I celebrate with him it's not a big deal I kind of see what she mean by that but I still wouldn't celebrate as much as she did. I kind of get Janelle's point, but I kind of don't. And at this point, I have to say, Janelle is kind of disappointing me with some of her decisions. James was smart about it. He didn't really celebrate with Kaser. He kind of just like walked around and he eventually clapped and celebrated with everybody when they all congratulated Kaser. So season six had a meeting without James. So it was just the three of them. And they were talking about how glad they were that uh, Kaser won and like the decision they were gonna make and all this. Like, it was like a minor meeting. Like it was right after he won HOH, it was no big deal. So we see Chill Town, Will and Boogie talking, and they seem like they're pretty worried, more Boogie than Will. Will kind of seem like he just don't care. Now, I can't wait to see him on season two because I'm trying to figure out why do people like him so much because he is very dislikable on this season. I don't like him at all. And I hope that he's more mature now because I actually like him on his little round tables, but uh, he is so dislikable inside this season. Jesus Christ, why was y'all a fan of his? So then we see what makes him even more just likable. He starts to basically bully Howie about Botox, saying that he needs Botox and how he looks old and how he can do it for him. And Kaser was sitting right there and he kind of was saying like, oh, I don't think that Botox is necessary, all that surgery that he does. And Will was talking about how he does his own Botox and he thinks that it's fine. And Kaser was saying like, if you do all that, then you won't even have face expressions. And Will's like, oh, well, do you really even need them? And they were just going back and forth at it. Like, Will wouldn't even look at Kaser when they were going back and forth. So I just tell, like, they have tension. Like, they don't like each other. I think it's because people think that Kaser has a big ego and he's like cocky and arrogant. And Will is all that stuff. I don't know if Kaser really is that way. He just comes off like that. Will is that way and he owns it. So, like, they just kind of clash. I think Kaser is more likable than Will, in my opinion. So then we see Howie talk to Kaser about how he wants Chill Town out now. I thought, I wonder why he felt like that. But like, I feel like the bullying did get to uh, Howie, and now he wants Chill Town out. Which I mean, if that was gonna help him get him out, then hey, use it to your advantage. But for some reason, Kaser was not for it. He was saying how no, I don't think I should do that. Are you serious? At this point, I thought Kaser was a good player, but why would you put up? anybody but them. They're after you. Janelle agrees with Howie saying we need to get Chill Town out. And Kaser's argument was why would we get them out when one of them gonna stay and come after us? We should make an alliance with them. You sound so stupid, Kaser. I thought you were a good player. Like, I'm just like, where's James in all this? Cause like, I'm trying to figure out, cause I know that Will at least makes it to jury. Because whenever he's in his round table, he says that he's a former winner and a former jury member. And I'm just trying to figure out how in the world did he make it to jury? How? Uh, what, what? This is so, so stupid to me because y'all got four brains, season six, and four good brains, I thought. I thought all y'all were, well, I thought all y'all were good players, but why, why did Will, Boogie should not have won this season. He should not have won this, and I'm only, what, five episodes in, but they should have got Will and Boogie out. What is going on? Because I'm looking at who won HOH. Like, what's going on, but... So basically, Janelle, or, or Kaser wants to put up floaters, which I think is such a stupid idea. If you don't put up Chill Town, they're still coming after you no matter what. If you put up both of them and one goes home, yeah, one's going after you, but you just get them out. It's four versus one. Simple as that. Like, uh... uh but uh, this is why they lost. This is why all four of them lost. 
and I like them. So this sound bad, but I like all of them. But it's decisions like this. It's decisions like this, and I cannot wait to see how James H O H go, cause his H O H is coming up next. And I think he's the smartest one, but I know he didn't get Chill Town out, so I'm confused. So Janelle's upset because James is playing a good game. <laughs> Janelle was pretty much upset, saying like, "Why is James not hanging out with us? Why is James like, well, oh, James not hanging out with y'all because y'all are already a clear alliance." James feels like he can trust y'all already. He don't need to hang out with y'all that much. James is the best player in the house right now. Because he's not appearing as a threat. And he should be the biggest threat, but he's not appearing as a threat. Like, there's so many threats in front of him right now. Like, he got Howie. How, he made Howie seem like a bigger threat to him, at least from what I'm watching. Janelle, Kaser, Will, Danielle, Boogie. Like, look at all these targets he got in front of him. Like, James is the man. Like, I don't know how he didn't win. He should have won. So Janelle calls James in and confronts him, and he's saying, like, I don't know why you even trust Jace. Like, Jace is not with us. He's against us. And Janelle is so convinced that Jace is cool because, oh, he was HOH with me and he didn't turn on me. Well, if he would have turned on you, it would risk him too. That's why he didn't turn on you. And at this point, I I'm just trying to figure out how is Janelle known as one of the best Big Brother players of all time? Because I watch season 14 and they call her that. And I hear a lot of people on Twitter say how good of a player she is. And I was a fan of her last year, last season, just because of all this stuff. But I'm not seeing how she's the best game player. How she's a good game player. I'm not seeing it. I'm just not. I'm being honest. I don't see it. Howie is even more smart than Janelle at this point. Because he says that Jace is playing the game that James played last year. Which is true. Jace is playing both sides of the fence, which is what James tried to do last year, but he kind of failed. Then Janelle takes the cake with this idea. She says, let's put up one person from each alliance. So you want to put up one person from the Floater Alliance, which is Nokomis and Diane, and put up one person from the Chill Town Alliance. Because at this point, Kaser wanted to put up two people from the Floater Alliance. Or should I call it in Season 5? Kaser wanted to put up two people from Season 5. Janelle wanted to put up one person from Season 5 and one person from Chill Town. James wanted to put up two people from Chill Town, and Howie wanted to put up two people from Chill Town. James and Howie were the only two that were smart in this situation. Like, what don't they understand? Janelle's idea was the worst, because then you you make both teams mad. But I mean, that, that's still what they ended up doing, especially with, since they kept Diane. But let's just get to it. Kaser and Erica have a little flirt mance, I guess. Uh, it, it didn't really go anywhere, because... From what I know, they didn't even end up being a showman, so it was just nothing. Then we see Jace playing both sides of the house, which he already been doing. He was literally in a hot tub with the people against season six, talking about season six. Then he went to season six and told them what they were saying, and he really did tell them. So he really is playing a good game because he's building Janelle's trust even more and more and more. So whenever season six says, oh, Jace isn't with us, she has these thoughts like, oh, well, he told me this, and he told me this, and he told me this. If he wasn't with us, he wouldn't be telling me this stuff. So Jace is playing a great game right now and I really like this new Jace and how he matured since his season ended. Then we see the food challenge. It was a pretty good challenge. Um, the have nots. Oh, they introduced Slop this season. This is when Slop actually got introduced. I actually want to know when did the turn back door get introduced? Was it Nokomis with the six finger plan? I, I don't know. If y'all know that, leave it inside the comment section down below. Basically, the have nots were season six, uh, except Kaser because he was HOH. I think Danielle was a have not and Marcellus was a have not. So we get to Chill Town finally has a meeting with Kaser. If they had a meeting and they were so nervous and they were saying, oh, you're probably going to put us up, Kaser, put them up. They already expecting it. Like, Kaser, uh. He should know this. He got portrayed last year, so why would you trust Chill Town? I was so confused. Either way, he basically said, if I don't put y'all up, I want y'all to give me, like, some weeks of safety. <sighs> why not just put him up and get rid of one? Then you only got to deal with one. Like, I was so confused. Kaser, what in the world is wrong with you? We get to the nominations, and Kaser nominates Diane and Nokomis. Stupid. So the next episode, Diane is already crying. She, her and the comments are really upset. Kaser comes in the room, and I hate when this happens. Don't come in the room and come for me when you just put me on the block. You're basically saying, I don't mind if you go home. That's the way I see it. Pawn or not, you're saying that you don't care if I go home. So I hate when people comfort who they just put on the block. So Kaser is coming off as unlikable to me at this point. Chilltown is literally laughing inside season six 
face at the fact that they did not put your town up. This is just sad to me because Keisha, you got burned so many times last year and now you about to get burned again. And this time you had the HOH, you had all the power. You could have just put both of them up and now they laughing in your face. Y'all look so stupid. Y'all look silly. Especially you. You and Janelle look silly for doing this. But I, I know that Janelle gets inside of a flirt man with Dr. Will sometime inside this season, so she might be okay. Casey, okay, so you got nobody to blame but yourself for whatever happens. Then we get this weird scene with uh, Nicole or with Janelle and Marcellus. I like that they friends, but they started basically naming the tarantulas they got in the have not room or somewhere. And they was naming them past house guests. And the only reason why I want to bring this up is because they caught some girl named Monica Ugly in this uh, in this little scene. And I thought it was pretty messed up for Big Brother to even include this into the episode. And it was pretty messed up for uh, Marcellus to say it. Then we see season six that was upset with the nominations, Janelle included. So I was confused. Janelle, why are you so upset? You, like, if all three of y'all would have showed that y'all was upset, I don't think Kaser would have did it. I think he would have did what y'all wanted. So I was kind of upset that they were acting upset because y'all had all the power. What happened? We get to the veto player pick and they spin the wheel and the three extra players plan will be Erica, Will, and James. So the veto was some type of golf theme. I really hated this veto. I didn't really understand it. Like everybody was just kept getting out round after round. The only person that was doing halfway decent was Erica and she ended up winning. We get to a scene, it was Boogie's birthday apparently, so they threw him a big party and Erica put happy birthday Boogie on her legs and let him lick it off and uh, Erica, why are you attracted to Will? So Boogie is beyond me. <laughs> um, Marcellus is super upset because he can't eat and he just he said if it was me I wouldn't be having a party I think that's that's inconsiderate and stuff Danielle who I think is also playing a really really good game because she's making herself seem like not a threat she's talking to the nominees which is so good and she was saying like Diane never made it to a Thursday show on the block which that's surprising to me I mean I've watched her season but that's inner I like these facts like Diane never made it to the block neither did Danielle until last week Nokomis has but <laughs> it was funny when Danielle said she's like well you have right <laughs> Like, but uh, Danielle was just comforting them pretty much, saying how it sucked and stuff, and how she felt for them. Season six is having a meeting in the HOH room while all the other people, the season six haters, are inside the hot tub. Marcellus is also in there with season six because he's pretty much with them now because he's best friends with Janelle. Also, Jace is kind of with them, but he's playing both sides of the fence, so it's kind of weird. So season six has the four plus Marcellus at this point. Marcellus is basically schooling them, saying how the nomination made no sense and how it was so stupid and how they need to get Chill Town out and we need to convince Erica to use the veto and get one of them out. At this point, I don't think it would have worked. Even if Erica would have used the veto, it wouldn't have worked. Case really shot itself in the foot. James came into the room and said, they all talking crap about season six right now inside the hot tub. And Case was like, really? Like, yeah. Yes, Kaser, did you not know that this was going to happen? Will wanted to see Kaser. So Kaser goes to the hot tub and Will pretty much called him out and talked about, we don't want any of them to go. We think your nominations suck, blah, blah, blah. So Kaser just sitting there looking stupid and laughing and saying, oh, well, there's no one else to go. This is a strategic move, blah, blah, blah. And uh, Will said, I'll go up. Just put me up and vote me out. Like, you should have just did it. You should have just did it. Just did it and voted him out. Like, what is wrong with you, Kaser? Kaser is an idiot at this point. I'm sorry. I liked him. I thought he was a good player, but he's an idiot. He making idiot moves. You should have just put Will up. So what? Like, and I don't like Will, Dr. Will at all. He's coming off so unlikable. I don't know how he has so many fans. That's all I can hear right now. Veto ceremony, it doesn't get used, like I said. Diane, very upset again. She didn't want to do the hugs. We see Marcellus and Janelle inside the hot, I mean, inside the bathtub, and uh, they were just basically talking about everybody else. They basically want Chilton out, but my thing is, y'all should have got him out this week. It was a waste. I actually like Marcellus. I didn't think that he was such a good, like, he's, his, what he's saying makes sense. It's, it's so weird, because I thought that he would be a horrible player, because only thing I know about him is that he didn't use the veto on himself and that's like the dumbest thing I ever heard in my life because he got voted out <laughs> especially it was so late in the game I think I really just love Marcellus and Janelle's friendship then we see Diane campaign against season six she basically campaigned against the season six haters saying that she would help them get him out 
And the Comas was doing the opposite. She was campaigning two season six, saying that she would help get the other people out. She wanted Chill Town out. So I thought this was pretty, pretty weird. We get to the live show. Chicken George is dressed in all aluminum foil for some reason. I guess he wants to stand out and like let people know, hey, I'm on this show. I'm from season one. <laughs> Julie asked him some questions, nothing important. Then we get to Howie. Julie basically said, like, uh, will you take all this stuff? Like, I don't think she should have kept doing it because it uh, will come off as a bully to me. If, if this would have happened today, as sensitive as the world is, everybody would have said that's was bullying. It would have been all controversy and all that type of stuff. Like, she he keep calling uh, how he retarded and all that stuff, saying he's a retarded friend. Like, it, it's uncomfortable to watch. I don't like seeing that, really. Diane talked about how she never been nominated and. She's really upset. She don't want to be on the block with the comas. We see a Kaser video package from him back home with his family. It was nice. It made him more likable. And after everything that I dislike about him on this season, it made me kind of warm up to him. I hope he makes it to jury, honestly. Getting rid of the comas now, I feel like it's not a big loss. So, because she's not a big character to me. And the first person I got rid of was not a big fan of me. I mean, I wasn't a big fan of her. So, I, I like for Jerry to be full of people that I find interesting. So, I would like for Kaser to be a part of the jury. Especially because he wasn't a part of it last year. Julie questioned Kaser. And one of the questions she asked, I thought was kind of telling. She said, do you think people will look at you, that move, as a weak move? And if she would have asked me that, I would have said, okay, so people are looking at that as a weak move. I need to get Chill Town out. That's what I feel like. I feel like that, that question was kind of telling. It should have been telling at least. I hope he saw something with it. Then we see some controversy video package about Mr. and Mrs. Smith with Jason and Diane. I don't, I don't know. Danielle's the one with this conspiracy theory thing that they working together. My thing is with stuff like this, even if they are, so what? Like everybody's working with everybody. Like, so what if they looking out for each other? Like it's not a big deal. Like they made this a whole like five minute video package to me. Like I'm, I'm confused. We found out that Nicomas is evicted by a vote of eight to two, I think it was. I know she had two votes against her and I think one of them was, was Boogie, right? No, Will. Will voted to evict Diane, but I don't know who the other person is. Nicomas interview was nothing special, but it did tell like, it, it made me realize that she is a good player because she's smart. I think they made a good choice voting her out because they like Diane was crying all week and showing that she was weak and Nicomas was chill, you know, all that type of stuff. And she made good decisions and she, she made the better decision talking, well, I guess it's worse because she got evicted, but... Yeah, Nokomis, the interview basically told me that Nokomis is a good player because she said that Kaser made a horrible decision and it should have been Will or Boogie sitting where she said, which she was completely right. Then we get to the HOH competition. They basically watched some short clips from past competitions that they did and then they had to answer some questions. It came down to James, Janelle, and Danielle and I was like, oh my God, these are like my three favorite people. But even though Janelle been making me mad a lot. Then she got out and then it was down to James and Danielle. And I was like, yes, these are my two favorites today in the final two. And so the question, it came down to a tiebreaker. And the question was like, how many seconds did it take Janelle to win that first veto that she won? So I just, I wanted to participate. I love participating inside the tiebreakers. Because that's like, I, if I go on Big Brother, I really want to be involved in like multiple tiebreakers. Like I think... The higher, lower, that thing, the tiebreaker, that should be a challenge by itself. I love that. I think it's so fun. So I participated in it. And at first, when they said how many seconds, I knew I had to time the amount of minutes by 60, because 60 seconds in a minute. And I was like, all right, maybe that competition took 15 minutes. And then I was like, uh, maybe it took less than that. Because I, I replayed it in my hand, like they were moving kind of fast. So maybe it took like five minutes? That was like maybe six. I was like, uh, maybe eight. Less than 10 minutes, more than 5 minutes, right in the middle. So I timed 60 by 8, I think. Either way, I wrote down my notes. Like, I wrote that I got 480. 480, so that's either 60 times 8, I think it is. 60 times 8. 8 minutes. That's how long I thought the competition took. Less than 10 minutes. My, my logic was it took less than 10 minutes, but more than 5 minutes. So I just picked 480. When they turned their boards around, Danielle had 480 written down. And I'm like, geez. And then James had like 421. So I'm like, dang, like, I'm good at this. I'm really good at this, like these tiebreakers. And James ended up winning because Danielle went over. Actually, I think they both went over. The competition was even shorter. James ended up winning HOH. Howie's done, oh my God. Howie ran up to James the same way, yelling. And 
I don't know what James said, because, like, the sound went off. Like, I guess they were cussing a lot. James said something to Howie to make Howie walk, turn back the other way, because he did. Howie is just ridiculous, to be honest. Like, he go ruin James' game for real. Like, if anything, he cheered so loud for Kaiser, he shouldn't have cheered at all for James. And made it seem like, oh, it's tension inside the season six. But I'm glad James won HOH, but I'm just confused as to what is he about to do. I'm so confused. Who is you about to get out, James? I'm so confused. I'm, I, I don't I don't want to be upset, but I know I'm going to because I know that Boogie wins this season. At least I think. I'm almost positive that Boogie won this season. And I'm pretty sure that Will made it to Jury. So unless Jury starts right now, James didn't get either one of them out. Unless there was a battle back or something. I, I'm I'm looking forward to this, but I just I feel like James is like my favorite person on this season right now. And whoever he gets out, if it's not chill time, I'm going to be upset. So that's the end of this episode. I, I can't wait to see what happens with this. I'm excited. I'm nervous. I don't know. My prediction is since I know that Will or Boogie don't leave for sure, or at least I think that, I'm predicting that maybe he does put up Will and Boogie. One of them wins the veto, probably Boogie. So then just Will on the block and Will ends up staying because the house votes will to stay that's what i'm that's what i'm gonna predict but i'm excited i cannot wait to see what happens i love doing this i hope that y'all continue to watch this season with me uh give this video a like comment subscribe share it on all forms of social media let's discuss it inside the comment section down below and until next time y'all catch you later